Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode of Landmark Live. I am your host, Colette Dexella Murphy. With me today, back we have Terry. Hi. Welcome back. I survived. Oh good, <laughs> very good. I'm not sure we will. I hear we're in trouble for last week. Well, I did watch the live stream and uh, yeah, there's, there's, there were some talking to's that happened. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I kids. was perfectly innocent. No, Dave, she welcome wasn't. back. Hey. <laughs> and it's wonderful to be here. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> and over in uh, the ozone today, who do we have? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Rosie Rappaport, art director. Today, Omid Dariani will be played by a mime. <laughs> <laughs> I, speak. I have a friend. I have a friend. So, <laughs> so nice. Well, I don't know that I'd say friend. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, yeah. Aww. Maybe. Maybe. Aww. Maybe friend. Maybe friend. We'll see how the show goes. It's too yeah. soon to tell. So soon. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's just let's get on with the show and see how it goes. Yeah. Right? Excellent. Let's do All right. that. All right. So, a um, couple of things. Uh, just <laughs> most awkward few. beginning yet. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a few. We, we, can, we can do better. We've done better. <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of housekeeping notes right now. Uh, before we came into the show, I had posted on the forums and also tweeted out, we do know that there are some account issues happening right now when you try to log in and it says you are no longer authorized even if you had purchased a Founders Pack before. The teams are working on it. Um, in many cases, it's just an intermittent issue. You should try to re-log in again, but it is something that we are working on getting a fix out for, so make sure you check the forums and Twitter. We've got news about it there. Um, but you, the servers are up, people are in and playing, so um, keep trying to get into game and, and we will take care of you. It is a bug. Uh, your founder's packs did not go away. Right. So just wanted to make sure we made mention of that before we got started with the fun stuff. Good. Um, I don't know, getting into the game is fun stuff for Getting me too, into so the game is fun stuff, but being stuck outside the game is not fun stuff. I guess it's a good point. Um, so tomorrow we have a patch. We do. Tomorrow morning is what we're aiming for. Uh, yep. So, you know, every week we try to get some new stuff out there, and uh, this week is no different. Awesome. Um, so uh, we've got a lot of stuff. We Do we want to show off the, yeah. the the props to start with? This let's, is one of the things that's going to be let's coming. Do that. Yeah, we can do since that. we have Rosie here, let's yeah. actually uh, talk to you about some of the props. We're going to show, um, can we pull up the in game? Sure. Bye, Dave. Props. Stage. <laughs> Props. Look, I'm over here now. Um, so uh, what we're seeing here is obviously some new props. We've got the uh, candle props here. So you can see these. These are easily placeable. Uh, the bench and the bed. And yay, bookcases. So there's some, uh, a new bookcase in here. There's a stool. Um, and then we also have a whole bunch of, uh, oh, wait, and one more candle that stands by itself. So there's these things, and then in addition, um, there's some rugs uh, that we don't have in the game right now, but we have screenshots of. Yeah, if we can bring that up. There we go. So the rugs are um, the first of probably many that we'll be doing, um, and they do have collisions, so you can stack them up and hang them in different directions and stand them on them as platforms. So they're pretty useful. Uh, and then in addition, uh, we'll be adding more and more things as we go on. But that's it for tomorrow. Yeah, so as far as props go. So Rosie, uh, can you talk a little bit about how we decide what props to make and and why we chose some of these as the next ones that are going to be going out? Yeah, yeah. So so what we've been doing is going through the screenshots Oops. and the interiors that people have been building and really looking at what we thought would enhance those interiors. What were they missing? What we thought people would like as well as looking on the forums and see what people like. And uh, we're really trying right now to make sets so that all of these pieces can go together and, and look good. And we really like pieces that serve multiple purposes for people. So we're really looking a lot into that, things that can really enha help enhance building in un even in unexpected ways. So hopefully like those rugs, I mean, who knows, people could use them put together to make a tent or a window mm -hmm. or... Um, <coughs> Or something we've never thought of. Things, Wait. yeah, things <laughs> we just don't know. We will see. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can definitely see when you're looking at those. You were talking about sets and how things go together. Uh, you know, when when we first put this together so we could show off some of these things in the game, I, I noticed how well they actually went together to make what looks like a bedroom. You exactly. Know? Yeah, we're trying to to make. You can see all the wood matches and the the trims all match. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but all of these pieces have a heavy quality to them. The mm -hmm. the everything in them is is wide and thick and heavy and they have a very tangible quality and that's part of our basic art style and the idea there is that uh, not only is it just part of the art style but that's an art style that works well with the voxel buildings which are, are uh, by their nature heavy so these are pieces that are 
um, intended to work well with voxels. Right, and we're continually building uh, props all the time. Yes, we uh, are. And then we'll we'll slowly be releasing them to the players so that they'll That's have a, right. a larger and larger uh, uh, a group of options uh, exactly. on how they want to decorate, whether it be interior, exterior, and even though we're you know this one was <laughs> <Dave>. <laughs> Dave's trying to tilt the uh, the bookcase over onto the ground. I just wanted to see what the back looked like, to be honest. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> um, but uh, you know the the idea is is that this week we're we're doing some interior stuff. Uh, yes. And you know we'll we'll have themes as we move forward, so that so that like you said, we'll, we'll be releasing them in packages that make sense. Yes. So th this is the I think this is the rustic theme, and we also have a more decorative theme. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking at high, at sci-fi themes. So if anybody has ideas, we, we of course always want to hear those ideas yeah. and collect that data. Yeah, that's actually a, a great segue to something that I wanted to talk about as well, which is uh, we're going to be posting in the near future um, a, a thread to uh, solicit ideas uh, for themes and uh, categories of items as well as specific items that that you would really like to see in the game and then uh, Jeff Butler our creative director and Rosie will be going over that list uh, and pulling the things that that fit the best and that, that everybody wants and then we'll make sure they get into the pipeline uh, so that not only are we creating the things that we've noticed are, are lacking but you guys can help us as well as part of the development team you know exactly. identify those things and, and get them into the game uh, that we may have overlooked or missed yeah and that's not just fantasy stuff right no absolutely not yeah. it's we're talking all the different themes that people want. I mean we've already seen some of the amazing things that people have done uh, it, particularly in sci-fi with with some of the lumicite blocks and things like that they've they They've done all kinds of crazy stuff, and we know that there are, are these areas that would just just explode uh, the creativity of people in what they could actually create and decorate and and make the things that they right now they're just not quite able to get to. Yes, exactly. So. And things that that can move that that is always very interesting. Things that move and glow and have animations to them are we're especially excited excited to build. Yeah, right. and I think another one that that's really important is this idea of like multifunctional things, right? Yes. Right. Like pieces that, and we've seen people do it. Like I can't remember what I saw. Somebody had taken one of the vaults or something like that and shrunk it way way down. Yep. And was using it like a sci-fi door panel. Mm -hmm. I thought mm -hmm. that was like the coolest thing ever, right? Because it looked exactly like you know like a Star Trek door panel or. Something. <laughs> Yep. Uh, you know, so thinking about an item that you know is not just like a candle, right? But it could actually be used like three or four different ways. Uh, that's what we're really, really looking for. We'll get really excited about. Yeah. Well, one yeah. of the things my first, one of my first builds that I worked on in Alpha is I had taken the stone table and sunk it into the ground to make like footsteps, um, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. like garden like pedestals, stones, pedestals oh, going right. out mm -hmm. to the garden, right. so that yep. they, because I liked the decoration on top and I didn't need a bunch of tables out there, so I just sunk them down, so we just got the top. So things like that, things that you know, like we said with the rugs, you know, people may use them as windows, as paintings, as tents, yeah. um, things that aren't just single use but can be. Yeah. Imagined in the one ways. that uh, Dave actually showed it to me, and, and it Im impressed me, which was very early on in Alpha, uh, when people were using uh, some of the like the forges mm -hmm. uh, to create these effects of like s chimney stacks and because yeah. like it had the smoke coming out of yeah. the top of it. That kind of stuff is just you know uh, we can't imagine that when we're creating the items, but but everybody's so imaginative with how they use everything we give them. Uh, so thinking about that in advance does give us a. An advantage in making things that are those multi-purpose items that we're talking about. So, Rosie, for you, as we um, as we said, there's going to be sort of an official thread that we're going to be posting on the forums that, um, when you'll be able to reply. And if you have suggestions now, go ahead and start making your lists now before the thread gets up there. But yeah. in terms of if people have ideas about like types of particle effects, like I'd like you to make a candle, but I want them to glow, or I, you know, things like the forge, I want it to have smoke. Are those sorts of no sorts of notes? helpful to you guys. Yes, that's super useful. That and also material types, if there's any specific material types that would really enhance building, that's excellent information. And it's always good to know why exactly what the thinking is behind that, those pieces, not just to say, oh, I'd like to have a disembodied flame. Yeah, this but is what to I'm say do with it. It's yeah. because I'm going to blow it up and put it at the head of my bed or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, whatever cool imaginary, you know, I idea that people have. Uh, we really want to know that. Yeah, imagine you could even do a screenshot, right, where it's like taking that flame, right? Like I built a house, I've got a chimney up here. Like I want a fire, not the fire comes out of chimneys. So well, it does well, it doesn't. Fun. They're really <laughs> old and they haven't been cleaned very often. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of fire comes Just out of my chimney. Just once, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, something like that, right? It's like, hey, 
this thing needs to go here and you know point yeah. at it and draw the picture and explain it to us, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and I think that would be really helpful. Yes. I was going to say that one of the one of the first things that I know I I'm going to do and I think is a is a good exercise would be look at the things you've already built mm -hmm. and see if there's something that's missing right. that would complete it for that's you. What, Much yeah. like what Amid was just talking about, where where you can give an example or you can go, oh, if I just had this. It would make a huge difference to, you know, we'll pick what Dave's looking at here. You know, he's looking at this, the room with the windows and the chandelier and everything. And if somebody was like, oh, if I only had something that would serve the purpose of, I don't know, a chair rail. Mm -hmm. I guess you could do that in voxels, of course. But, you know, that's just an example of something. Well, and, and that would make this room so much better. And my first yeah. thought, looking at sort of the ballroom, was the idea of, like, a uh, swoop of fabric, something that yeah, could potentially yeah. be used over the window as a curtain or right. something like that, because I imagine people could use those in a number yeah, of ways, either exactly. as party decorations or as curtains or as... I thought it was really interesting people took the side tables and shrunk them down to make benches because mm -hmm. we didn't make benches. Mm -hmm. So that was both like really like kudos for being imaginary, it, using your imagination, but also uh, whoa, we need benches. Right. <laughs> so we added those to the list. Right. So that would be another thing then potentially is what have you made, used other props to make props that yeah. are missing? Right. right. And so that we can create new ones. Because I know we do have, um, there is a, a stone bench coming in with this update, right? That we showed in the last one. So that's a good example is, you know, you guys started creating benches. So now we have benches to, to add to it. Right. Yeah. Something that, that is, is actually serves that purpose directly rather than having to to be quite so uh, thinking out of the box in order to get to a bench. Right, right. Yeah. right. Um, now, uh, with these props going in uh, tomorrow, how can people get them, the new ones? Uh, well, they're going to be they're going to be craftable. Okay. You know, um, I'm fairly sure. I apologize. Uh, I'm going to be looking at Dave for a couple of pieces here because I was out for a, a week and a day, so I, I don't have all the details for everything for this week. Oh, sure. They'll be on the they'll both they'll both be on the uh, exchange and uh, and craftable like usual. Okay. okay. All right. I had a feeling there were probably people out there asking that, That's even though Omid didn't say it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Actually, I'm not Welcome sure. Welcome to the show, Omid. Uh, We've been lying. You know what? We need to double check and make sure the recipes are in for tomorrow. Okay. okay. Uh, but yeah, they'll be. They'll well, be there. If, okay. How's about this? Th this is the real time part of this. If anybody who's watching this back uh, over in the other building, just text me and let me know the answer to that question. <laughs> uh, and then I can tell everybody. So <laughs> we can get that information right now. Yeah. That is just amazing. I, I haven't been inside of that building. The White yeah. House? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really awesome. <laughs> Unless that's an IP, in which case it's just the um, uh, not really, really, really light yellow house. <laughs> <laughs> the light eggshell building. <laughs> Egg crew. I believe we own the White House as Americans. That's right. <laughs> it's mine. Probably. Yeah. Um, so, Rosie, in terms of... Uh, when you guys go through and, and make props, so something for the players to keep in mind as we're creating these types of threads, um, what sort of things do you use as references? Do you use real world things? Do you do use crazy sketches? Like what kind of things can they provide to help us? Oh yeah, absolutely. Real world images are really helpful because when I say bench and you say bench, I mean, you might meet in a bench without a back and I might be thinking of one with a back. So just something to keep everybody on the same page mm -hmm. um, because we can, we will make the adjustment to make it fit with the theme and the style. But any kind of visual is, is super helpful because we can both be imagining things and not be on the same page. So right. yeah, that, that was something I was commenting to on the thread about material types mm -hmm. so it's really helpful to see what people want okay. and so easy to get that reference and of course i have the answer so all of the props we've been talking about are craftable they're not on the exchange oh i thought they were on the exchange yeah these are all just Great. craftable so you'll be able to craft them at the uh at the different crafting stations awesome. okay, like you can all the other props and okay. if you want to go ahead and sketch them up that's that's awesome too okay cool yeah. so yeah if you want to if you want to sketch your own concept art use real world pictures pictures of things that you've built in Landmark um, that you want a version of, like, I pushed two chairs together, but I'd yeah. like it to just be a single bench. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Um, again, we don't have the official thread up on the forums yet, but it is coming. Um, yes. So continue, start gathering those images, making that list, so that when it's there, you can start providing your feedback in that discussion. We would really appreciate that. So. All right. Cool. Did you uh, have anything else you wanted to tell us, Rosie, about the props? Omid, any questions from you? You here? We've been live for 20 minutes now. <laughs> oh yeah, I got some, I got questions. All right. Yeah, thousands of questions. <laughs> thousands. So, so many questions. Uh, <coughs> 42. So, 
I have three. That's the answer. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the question. So one of the questions is, uh, will we ever have prop books, or are we only ever going to get like bookcases? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a great question, and uh, we know a lot of people want some of the, the smaller pieces. I, I, we were talking about multi-use before. That's mm -hmm. a great example, right? If, if you have an empty bookcase and you have book props and or other things that could be placed on there, it allows for such a, a, a much greater variety. Yes. You know, so it's definitely things that we'll be working towards, but, you know, it's, uh, it's just the list is very long. Uh, so right. we'll, we'll be working on getting to those. Yeah, and the second question is, uh, will the props ever include things like buttons or switches or light, you know, turn on, turn off yes. kinds of yes. things? Yes, yes. absolutely. It's, as, as a matter of fact, Dave and I were just talking yesterday about that, the system, uh, and, you know, it's, it's in the schedule. It's something we're going to be working on. Uh, it's not in the, you know, next week or two kind of time frame, uh, but it's definitely something that uh, everybody wants. Uh, on the team, off the team, people who are playing, you know, the, our, the external part of the team that's in, in our alpha, or that was in our alpha and our beta, mm -hmm. you know, all those kinds of things. Everybody wants that, we know that. And some of the props that we already have may or may not have things already ready to go. Yes. Uh, that, is, that, that, that is a may. They do. They, <laughs> they do. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're doing the work because we know what's coming. Yes. Uh, so that we can make those all work together. That's right. We're not going to tell you exactly what they do, but... No, not yet. Well, you'll be surprised and happy. Very cool. I'm happy. The third question, actually, I realize isn't, it isn't about props specifically, so we'll move it to the, a okay. general Q&A. Sounds all good. All right. All right. Um, well, one thing that I think that props will probably help a lot of people out with is we have started to see some incredibly creative videos starting yes. to pop up. Um, including this one that was uh, sent, Dave, I believe you found it on Twitter? Did it oh, yeah. tweet it at yeah, you? It showed up on my uh, Twitter feed and I thought it was hysterical, so yeah. I started forwarding it to everybody. So we are going to go ahead and show the very beginning of this video. We're not going to give away the <laughs> ending. Um, this will be up. We have a player creations playlist on our Landmark YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Landmark the Game. So if you want to catch the ending, you will have to go there after the show. We'll be uploading it there. But here is a glimpse at the beginning of of the famous video that and, was making. And oh my god, watch the end. Go go see the end. It's <laughs> great. It's, it's absolutely worth it. great. Take that. Fiend. Axeman, protector of the innocent, coming through. Your armor is no match for my blade. Another one falls to my axe. goodness. Prepare yourself, wooden fiend. Stop, evil doer. And just who are you? I am the Holy Tree of Justice, born of a single seed of innocence, cultivated with a manure of freedom. I am... Drayman! Speak your name, peasant. Don't make me X you again. You're barking up the wrong tree. Don't make me chop you down to size. I am but a whisper. When a tree falls in the woods and no one's around, I'm there. With every axe comes great choppabilities. Uh, that was a pretty good one. An axe! Mm. My one weakness! I shall spare you this time. If you... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, if you want to catch the ending, um, we were just talking about, and I, people sort of know if they've watched this show, we're a big fan of puns around here. Oh, yes. Um, so, make sure that uh, after the show, I will go ahead and upload that to our YouTube channel so you'll be able to see the rest of the video and check out the ending. But one of the things we talked about in... Um, Dave, I know you mentioned this, we're gonna talk about the blueprint a little bit later, but uh, in the blueprint, um, we have SOE Moat coming down the line, but I, I, one of the things that impressed me about this video is the fact that there is so much you can do when you string the current emotes in game mm -hmm. together oh, sure. to, to make things extremely expressive that I was no, we, we have a great animation team, Aaron Carlson and Chris Myers and those guys, that are, they're, um, they're, they're constantly tooling new stuff. Yep. And honestly, we haven't been trickling in the animations that they've been stockpiling. Mm -hmm. But we should start doing some of that because um, uh, the amount of yardage, it's just like props, mm -hmm. the amount of yardage that you can get off of the little bits that we give you by intermixing them and, and making something bigger out of them is pretty impressive. And and, the, and these guys did a fantastic job on that video. Yeah. 
So again, we'll be featuring that video, and if you are creating videos, you can go ahead and send them to us at soe.com slash player dash direct. There are instructions there. And if you have a YouTube channel or a video channel and you are a streaming landmark or want to create landmark videos, anything like that, um, the release that we give, because we encourage it, obviously. We want you to be making videos. We want you to be showing gameplay. Please, please, please keep it up. Um, but a lot of times you'll, they may get a message that says something like, you know, can you be doing this? Is mm -hmm. this allowed? Questions about the video. That player direct page, in addition to information about how to send us the videos, has the release that says, yes, you are allowed to make videos. We encourage it. SOE says it's okay. So you can use that link to direct anybody who's asking you questions about it. So please keep that up. Um, hey, Omid. Yeah. You look a little lonely now. I know. <laughs> well, I guess Especially we. It's <laughs> Ghost oh. Rosie was there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess we know how that all turned out. Yeah, not well. Oh. <laughs> I was showing her something on my phone. Probably the can. People are talking oh. about it. Yeah. Um. Sorry, a <laughs> little bit, a little bit of, of side conversation going on. Um, technical difficulties. Technical we resolve them. <laughs> it's fine now. We fired the can that had replaced Dave Georgeson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Dave, you wanted to talk about a couple of tips and tricks, things in game that you okay. wanted to share with some of the players. So you guys are all going to laugh at me, but um, the number of times that I've talked to people in game and found out that they didn't have any clue about this functionality or what to do with it, um, it got to the point where I decided that I just really needed to try out a few things. <laughs> All right, so one of them is hot bars. And yeah, I know, stop laughing. I'm going to show you how to use hot bars. Um, a lot of people don't realize that you have multiple hot bars, even though it's been in the in the game for, I don't know, four or five patches already. Yeah. Um, but uh, you can switch between them by just doing control, one, two, three, four, or all the way down to uh, 10. Um, and that can be extremely useful. One of the things that I have found that's very useful with, with the hot bars is uh, ring swapping. You can make, you can craft all these different rings, but um, what I did was I created a, a hot bar, which you'll see down here. And when I pull open my uh, character sheet, uh, you can see that um, uh, I can swap these rings really easily by just clicking on the numbers and then adding new ones. So I don't have to have my inventory open to be able to uh, swap my rings, which makes things like run rings and jump rings and things like that a lot more useful so that you can swap back and forth between your assessor's marks and the other things. So that's just one little thing. Um, you switch between those by doing control plus the number, and then you can fill out all those different ones. Now, right now, unfortunately, the default one is zero, which is just really dumb. And we're going to fix that real soon, and we'll start at control one being the default one, but that'll be very soon. Okay, so that's one thing. The other one is the hysterical screenshots that I'm seeing on the gallery. All right, so I'm just going to give you a couple of clues here. This is not the most awesome screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> so like uh, when I come in here and I take a screenshot like that, it looks like the back of my head. Mm -hmm. So uh, the easiest way to get around this I is... Mean, your hair looks lovely. I know, it's wonderful hair. So there's that. Scroll into first person and it's a lot simpler. And then try to find some way of getting up into a point where you're standing at a point where what you're taking a, a shot of is actually vaguely interesting. And that way when you take a shot like that, you're getting something that's much more useful um, here, let me move that out of the, 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 the uh, letters there. And people that are looking at the gallery or looking at, at whatever your template is when you start selling it on Player Studio will seem to something a lot more useful. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that these contest submissions start tom tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Sorry, competition uh, submissions start tomorrow. And um, you're going to be submitting templates, not claims, at, right. at that point. So what you're going to be doing is using the, uh, the template interface that you're used to Ah, see that? There we go. Hot bar. Um, and so you'll select an area like this, and then when you go to save your template, uh, oops, remember the keys, Dave. Um, create new, and I'll just go ahead and do test. When you do that, you're going to want to take a really good screenshot because that's essentially your contest submission. So because it's a template, you're going to be able to move outside of your claim and move around and everything to be able to see the right angle. So just keep experimenting until you get a really good angle and then put it in there as your contest submission. Make sense? That's all I have and to show. Because I know a couple of people have asked about this. Um, the submission flow is part of tomorrow's patch, which is why um, the dates are a little bit different because we pushed the patch back to Thursday. Right. So that is why um, a lot of people have asked they can't find it today. It's because it's not there. Um, so it will be in with tomorrow, and then you'll be able to start submitting. But you can go ahead and uh, you know keep working on those builds um, today, and then tomorrow we will. You'll be able to actually send them over to yep. us. 
Um, we do have a couple of notes about the Landmarks of Landmark competition. I'm going to well go as over there questions. now. Yeah, come on over here. Come on back. Uh, first one is um, regarding the winners. Mm -hmm. Will the claims be sunken into 50 voxels of dirt or air, and will doors and light orbs work? Okay, I got a question. Yes. How do you sink something into 50 voxels of air? <laughs> it's amazing. I have no idea. <laughs> the very with Twitter, when you only have 140 characters, you have to leave out words. The answer is very carefully, obviously. <laughs> the, the answer is, if the ground goes like this, part of it will be sunk in. The reason why we have a 50 voxel base is so that we can keep it level and settle it into whatever the dippy-doo terrain is that's underneath it and be able to put it in there and still have whatever your contest submission is showing. Mm -hmm. So there is a chance, I mean, if it's a fairly flat area, that not much of the base may be hidden at all. Or, or most of it, maybe. actually. Well, yeah, we may yeah. actually sink it down in it so that all whatever right. you've created is on the surface. Yeah. Okay. You know, this is really to provide a flat surface right. mm -hmm. for the thing you've created to be shown on. Yeah, we don't want you to make a statue and then have it be tilted at an angle Are we talking about the base like again? Yes. Again with the base. I know. It's a base. <laughs> 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 so means favorite topic. Um, yeah. And what about doors and orbs, lights, light sources? It's just like everything else. You know, if there's a prop on there, it will work just like it does in the rest of the world. Yeah, we've been asked several times whether or not there should be crafting stations in there, and the answer is no. Yep. Don't put crafting stations in there because essentially we're doing that for people already. You don't need to do it. Yep. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, uh, help or hinder your uh, submission, but we're not going to use the crafting stations in our uh, winning submissions. Right. And the same is true of words. No words. No yes. Words. Yes. No big letters. One of the reasons is we're an international game. We don't want to <laughs> localize your words. The other is none of us, <laughs> none of us can read. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> okay. So Omid. No one on that side yes. of the screen <laughs> beyond Terry. It's true. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> he, he, he's not actually reading chat. He's just making up questions yes. that he has and blaming it on all of you. Yeah, I just hit the buttons. Something <laughs> happens. Something <laughs> happens. Uh, another question. Um, does the entry need to be on the claim during the competition, or once it's templated, can they start building something else once it's submitted? No. It, it, it. I mean, it's nice to have it out there so that if somebody wanted to go see it, they could, but it's not required. You know. Yeah. I agree. Um, if, if I were uh, submitting something, and boy, I would if I wasn't working here. Yeah. But um, if I was submitting something, um, I would leave it on my claim to just show it off because people might visit and see it, and then that would help your votes. But no, it's not required. And one thing to keep in mind is the submission window for this is only a week. After the 7th, all of the submissions have to be turned in. Um, so, you know, there would be less people potentially visiting it. So maybe if you could wait till next week to start over building. But you get two primary claim flags. I would be working on your other build. Personally, <laughs> if it was me, whatever they want to do. Like so, I said, yeah. it's absolutely not required to keep it on your claim. Yep, it's just maybe it useful. Yeah. yeah, might be helpful. Might to not. See it. Um, uh, somebody had asked, how will they be displayed once? Uh, once they're in the world, will they be placed matching together, or will they be placed in a random order? Well, have you yeah, thought through that? So, so it, well, the, the the question was, what happens if we have multiple hubs mm -hmm. on a given land mass? Right? Oh, oh, and then oh. what it'll be is it will be, these will be in, you know, it'll be matched up to a hub, right? right? And then we'll create things, we'll try to make sure that everything works in the world, but, you know, out, we're probably not going to put a space station with a pyramid. Maybe. Well, not at the same hub. Well, maybe not even on the same I land like I've mass. I've seen that movie. Yeah, that's fine. I, I've seen that movie too. <laughs> yes, but I don't remember the name of it. No, uh, <laughs> but the idea is, is that we would, we would make sure Something that it, it fits in. <laughs> Yes, it, it, it fits as best as possible. But mm -hmm. if we have multiple hubs on a given landmass, then that's what we'll have, and they'll have different landmarks at each one, so that you can reference them and say, "Hey, I'm by the giant pyramid, or the giant statue of the the, the lady with the chainmail bikini on, or or whatever it might be that somebody." Well, I've seen one of those in games, so <laughs> uh, you know, um, whatever it happens to be that landmark, so people can talk about it, reference it, use it as a landmark in the game. Exactly. Get it? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Landmarks of landmarks. Yes. Um, so a couple of questions related to this sure. are: um, What will there be one contest winner per island? How how does that work? Well, the way we have things right now, the answer would be yes, right? Because mm -hmm. there's only one hub per island, right? Mm -hmm. But but we're not going to pick like the best submission from each island. Correct. Right? Oh, right. No, 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 no. Where you built it has nothing to do with whether or not you get chosen as a as a winner or not, and it also has nothing to do with where we put it in the world. 
Right. You know, so if you happen to be on uh, Island X, that may not be where it ends up, even if you win. And it, and just to be clear, we're not necessarily taking the 50 top voted items. Right. We're not. Uh, what we're looking for is a is a wide variety of mixes that meet all of our different genre demands, and making sure that we have representative samples across all of the stuff, and trying to find really high quality examples of all of those things. Mm -hmm. So we'll be picking and choosing as we go along, and we're using the upvotes, the uh, competition voting that you start doing. Tomorrow? tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Wait, no, next week. No, they, start, they can start tomorrow as they submit. Mm. Yes. Be there. there we go. Upvoting <laughs> this week. Starting yes. tomorrow, um, yes. uh, you'll be upvoting and we'll use those as guidelines to find the stuff that's really cool mm -hmm. because hopefully there will be just scads of submissions. Yes. But we'll see. So yeah. Another question is uh, how, like, how many winners will there be? We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. And it's, it's sort of like a selections, right? It's not really like there's a grand prize and a second prize and a third right. prize, right? We're going to take a lot of really good ones. We're basically going to take e everything that's good and that fits the criteria, right? <laughs> I can't remember how many hubs there are. But there's a know, lot. There's, there's probably more yeah, hubs than there will be worlds? winners. Uh, well, right now, right now there's nine worlds, 50 islands. Part. So that's 450 islands. Yeah. Yeah. So we're I probably not going to get 450 you know, landmarks. I don't think I have a low opinion. Unless we give Coda more plots, in which case, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we give y'all can't build. Prove oh. me wrong. But <laughs> 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 nice. way to throw the gauntlet down. Yeah. Oh man. But yeah. So there's up to 450 opportunities to win, right? right? Well, and that's just right now as well. I mean, if if we had more than that that we liked. We would take those as well because there will be more islands in the future. There will be more hubs. Yeah, but know? the likelihood is that we're probably going to get like 30 or 40, maybe 50, mm -hmm. if we're lucky, yeah. um, winners this time around. Right. And that's all we'll use. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the we'll rest keep having contests and stuff like that as we go on. There's yeah. plenty of time to fill up the world. Yeah, yeah and the rest are just going to be statues of the members of Nickelback. <laughs> so you're really going to want to okay. win. So this is at <laughs> least the second week in a row that you've mentioned that, that band. Maybe third? Nickelback I can't remember if, if they did right before. I, right? I'm just that song they have that everyone likes? I'm, <laughs> just, curious about, I'm just curious <laughs> about your your uh, your focus on them. Uh, did they wrong you in, <laughs> in, in, and you're not willing to you talk guys about like, it? You guys like Nickelback, right? <laughs> you, yeah, AV <laughs> is nodding. <laughs> everyone likes Nickelback. Like, I, I, Terry, I really feel like you're in the wrong here. I didn't say I didn't like them. <laughs> <laughs> I was just that curious was with your question. infatuation. They're great. They're they're great. They're the okay. best band since the Beatles. All right, surely, <laughs> right? Cool. Right? Wow. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to motivate our fans. Happen. That, that so, didn't happen. Um, <laughs> a, a few other folks have asked about the competition when they submit. Um, can you talk a little bit about how that process works in game? Like what the what the steps are. We, we know how to do it for the gallery, but well, is sure. there um, something else? And especially, do they t need to tag it something special is one that I've seen. Yes, and we'll announce the tag tomorrow. I'm not going to screw it up today because mm -hmm. I think we don't actually have the official version of it today. Mm -hmm. But um, what we're uh, what you'll basically do is uh, you, you'll go in um, and make a template just like you normally would. Um, and when you tag the template, you'll tag it with a special contest or a competition tag. Um, and when you've done that, that's it. You. Uh, um, once you've, once you've tagged it with that competition tag and you've taken your screenshot, um, you have now submitted the uh, template. And it'll show up in the uh, contest window and you can go into uh, the showcase and go into the gallery and then do search for that contest tag. Once you've done that, you'll see all the different submissions come up in the window. And now that we have all that cool pagination in there, mm -hmm. it'll come up nice and snappy. Yep. Probably should have launched with that, but it's really good now, so we're happy. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're making uh, more and more improvements on the uh, gallery as we go, so it'll just get stronger and better as as, as time marches on. Absolutely. Okay. So it is something, and again, we will be announcing what that is tomorrow, so that you will know as soon as you begin submitting what tag you need to use. And then, if you are whether you're entering or not, if it's just you want to see what people have entered for the competition, you'll be able to use that tag to search to be able to vote and potentially see where these are in the world so that you can go visit them, um, upvote them if you like them, all of that sort of thing. Now when you go to the um, the showcase and you look in the gallery for the, the contest submissions, um, when you first pull up that list, it's going to be randomized in order and you should just expect that. And the reason why we're doing that is pretty obvious to see from the regular gallery that if your stuff is at the top of the page, it gets voted on a lot. Yep. So what we're doing is we're randomizing those pages during the week of voting. 
After the week of voting, it'll be a predictable order like normal. Um, but during the voting process, we randomize the page a lot. Awesome. Right. So make sure you keep checking back because you never know what new things you might be seeing True. in the gallery. Um, and don't forget that you can do it both in-game and out-of-game as well, which we always talk about. Yeah, right. the, the web component of this is fantastic anywhere, at any time, especially while you're trying to work. Yeah, so on your work <laughs> computer right now, just bookmark the gallery and have <laughs> the window open and then have like an Excel sheet over it that you can just like pop up if your boss walks by. Yeah. Not that I would ever do that. Hi, Linda. How you doing? Um, <laughs> pretty sure she's in chat. She would encourage me to be in the gallery, though, so it's, it's okay for me. It uh, is part of our job. It is, it is indeed. Um, so last night, the blueprint went up. Yay. Want to talk a little bit about the, the new blueprint? I know you guys have been working hard on that over the past couple weeks to get the update. Well, yeah, I mean, we've been we've been working very hard to make sure that we have everything in line so that we can start talking about this. And, uh, you know, I, I have to, to give kudos to Dave because he uh, he took the reins of this while I was gone for the week uh, and got everything into, into shape so that we could have a new blueprint out this week, you know? Yeah, it's fun knowing that we have um, kind of a solid backbone for it. Yeah. Um, we had been uh, using Agile development, mm -hmm. uh, which for anybody that's out there doing development, you know what I'm talking about. And for the rest of you, you really don't care. <laughs> um, but uh, we that had been using Agile true. development. <laughs> <laughs> and then we switched over to a new method, which is, uh, uh, in my opinion, better. And it gives us better predictive capabilities. And because of that, we were able to tighten down the blueprint. And so we wanted to make sure that, uh, that everybody out there was getting the same information. So you guys got it pretty much the same as time as everybody else in the company got here got it. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, the response has been really solid. Mm -hmm. People have liked it. A few people are saying like, well, why can't we have combat tomorrow? And the answer is, because it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, that's really so what it comes down to. If you are watching and you haven't gotten a chance to take a look at it, um, we have a subsection of the forums called the Blueprint. You can see the archived old Blueprint that, was the, um, that came out in March, yep. as well as the new version that is up. And that covers, I believe, May to August, right? Yep. Through mm -hmm. SOE Live about. Mm -hmm. Which is, which is a really long time in the future to predict. Yes. Right. And in fact, I can almost guarantee there will be changes. I was going to say that. That was the next thing I was going to say is that the other thing that this is, this is just our best guess right now. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, this is our plan. These are the things that we're working towards. Things change. You know, we may decide uh, in a month. That's something we thought was lower priority, whether from something that you guys tell us or we determine something inside that says, hey, this really needs to be moved up and then we will have to shift it. So these aren't set in stone. Uh, obviously, they're the things we're aiming for uh, and they're the things we want you to be able to expect, but also understand that change is going to happen. What yeah. usually happens <laughs> is we do a really comp, uh, co uh, comprehensive design. We figure out exactly everything that needs to be in the future. We start to implement it and go, oh crap, we didn't think of that. Yep. And now? <laughs> and that derails the schedule. And mm -hmm. so that's the, that's the, um, the, the wonderful uh, opportunities you get when you're doing something for the first time. Right. And a lot of what we're doing here on this game is so completely unique and different that we can't predict all the pitfalls that we're going to run into as we go along mm -hmm. or the areas that we didn't fully design out. And so that sometimes derails our design. We'll just tell you that stuff. So when we start hitting those speed bumps and everything like that, we'll just tell you. And then you'll, you'll get to roll with the punches just like we do. Yeah. And some things may come in earlier than we expect. You know, that doesn't happen as often as some... What? <laughs> it doesn't happen as often as things coming in later than we expect, but it does happen. <laughs> yeah. you know? Dev meeting live. This is what's happening. <laughs> oh my goodness, we, we might, are? You know, we might choose to remove some features as well, right? Like combat. You know. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We'll just, Omid says it yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if the Omid graph says that it's not important. Yeah. <laughs> then that usually means well, it gets you don't need it. That would certainly <laughs> shorten our schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I would make room for more things. Well, and one thing that I know um, late yesterday evening that you had gone back in and made an extra note about was um, some of the things where there is a date in the future, um, and this, Terry, is sort of to your point, there, there may be pieces of it that roll out over time. Right. Like right. other things that come in that the are The tool improvements was the specific one right. you're talking about. Yeah, so the tool improvements, we're not waiting until the end of August to give you tool improvements. Right. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep rolling those out as long as we, uh, um, as, as often as we uh, come up with something good, and we know you want the smoothing tool stuff, so it's okay, we're getting there. <laughs> oh, soon, really. Um, yes. And uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, there's also a bunch of stuff that I didn't bother to put in the, bl the mm -hmm. blueprint that is actually really cool. A lot of the art pieces, uh, the different outfits, prop uh, stuff going out, new materials, mm -hmm. um, all kinds of different things, uh, especially like when the monsters are coming out, all those different things. Um, I didn't really put in the schedule because those are really fluid, and art is one of those groups that's 
incredibly flexible. So we can change that stuff out and have it be whenever we want it to be in the schedule. Right. Um, and that's usually what we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we didn't uh, try to lock them down on that. Yeah, they're, they're more of uh, bonuses and surprises than you know, hey, we have to have this system before we have that, before we have this. Right. And, and that's more of what the plan and, is. And the about. blueprint was all about big features. It wasn't exactly. about the little stuff and the little fixes and the, you know, the um, being able to reply in chat. Actually, I think I did cover that one. But um, sure. But there's a lot of examples like that of things that are just useful and good quality of life improvements that are not in the blueprint. Right. Yeah, because they're not major features in the sense of they take two weeks worth of work. Yeah, they're or, not milestones. Yeah, they're not milestone sorts of things. They're just things that we'll get to and we'll do them and we absolutely have the bandwidth and we'll be working on all those things. Yeah, it's planned. So there were a couple of questions I know in the Landmark Live thread for this week when we announced this week's episode where people were asking, when is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? Go check out the blueprint. Um, yep. that, that will tell you what is planned for the, the current future. And again, remember those dates can change. They are fluid. That's just sort of what it is to be part of a dev team. And we'll update them when things happen. So when we tell people that, hey, this, this slipped or this got moved or the priority shifted, we'll update the, the blueprint. So keep going back to it. If you have any questions about has anything changed, go take a look at it. Make sure that it hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, actually, I need to modify the cave statement. I just realized it last night when I, after I posted. I was going to bed and I went, I went oh man. Because the first time we're going to show caves to anybody is oh. going to be in the first half of May. Right. But really, it's going to get released to you guys like a week later. So we're going to straddle that middle of the month thing. And that's our but hope, yeah. Yeah, that's our hope anyway. But so yeah, that one's a little optimistic. But the rest of them are pretty solid for when we intend to put them out. Yeah. Since you um, mentioned caves, and yeah. we, we did have a question about it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, will the cave update include many tiers of caves shown in the preview, like when we saw crystal caverns, lava undergrounds, or will it be a system with underground biomes? How will it work? Is it a slow rollout? What does that, well, what does that look like? Well, it's, it's a combination of things, but it's really, it's, it's more the second one in that question, right? Okay. So we have a series of underground biomes that we're going to be rolling out, and they will be part of the cave systems that are under the ground. Now, I'm assuming from the question when I first saw this that you're talking about what we internally call the parfait. Right, mm -hmm. the the stacked. We don't use that term. I thought I we know. were never going to say oh, that. Sorry, I didn't say that. Sorry, I didn't we say all that. promise. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? If you weren't at last year's Game year, we right? So, so the the tiered <laughs> layers of different cave systems. Uh, we uh, that is that is just a a, de a depiction of an exaggeration of what we could do. Not to say that we won't do those sorts of things in EQ next. Mm -hmm. uh, it does look like a parfait, though. It does, <laughs> uh, but. Um, <laughs> and parfaits are delicious. Yes, uh, but for, for Landmark, it, will, it won't be quite that um, diverse, at mm -hmm. least initially. So, Yeah, the cave systems are really pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're getting all the cheat views right now. We get to mm -hmm. see the cutaways and everything like that, oh. so we can see how, the, how dense they are and all those other things. And as they populate those uh, different cave systems with all the different flora and the different objects and stuff that they're mm -hmm. putting into it, they're starting to look really, really good. Awesome. Yeah. And, oh, God, wait till you see oceans. I know. <laughs> so much better than what we showed them like two weeks ago. Last yep. week. It was just, it was last, just week. last week. So Time flies. I know. It <laughs> yes. seems like it's been two weeks, but yeah. it's only been one. So, um, so uh, quite a few people have asked, um, and this somewhat connects because we did talk about it with EQ Next mm -hmm. and SOE Live, um, some of the n other biomes that we had shown concept art of, mm -hmm. uh, like lava or the deciduous forest, I know is a very popular one. Right. Um, are those still planned? And because they're not on the current blueprint, does that mean they're after August? Or are they one of those may come sooner, may come later? Well, so this falls into, for the deciduous forest in particular, it falls into the category of the things Dave was talking about. Uh, art is working on it right now mm -hmm. you know so they, they have people who are working on pieces of that and as soon as it's ready we'll roll it out uh, we expect that to be before August okay you know um, additional biomes after that because that will be the fifth biome and we that's what we talked about having in, in landmark at mm -hmm. least initially uh, anything beyond that we'll have to schedule in and make sure that it's being done at an appropriate time the real problem with putting in additional biomes is that if we don't do it very carefully we end up with having to do things like claim wipes and things right. like that. Mm -hmm. And that's we want to avoid those as much as we possibly can. Right. So we have to we have to make sure that either we're putting them out on brand new islands and not interrupting things that are before, you know, things that have been released before, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we have to be careful about how we're doing it. And since you mis mentioned the W word, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna wipe during uh, when oceans debut. Correct. But we will wipe when caves debut. We have to. Now the wipe, just to reiterate for everybody, 
isn't you're not going to lose your stuff. You're nope. just going to lose your place in the world. Right. So your uh, your template will uh, get refunded back into you, and you, all your resources and props will go back into an email attachment that gets delivered to you. So all you have to do is open that up and drag it over. Probably goes into your overflow, and then mm -hmm. you sort it out. Yep. Um, uh, then you'll be able to place your template. So all you really need to go out is go out in the world and claim spot again, and then plunk your stuff back again. Right. So don't fear the wipe. The wipe no. is your friend because yeah. it lets you have all these new cool features, and yes. it's coming. Yep. Um, but we don't anticipate doing a lot of wipes after that. Nope. Mm -hmm. um, although I'm sure we'll find an excuse for something. Right. <laughs> it may happen. You know, it, like for instance, when mm -hmm. the deciduous force comes out, maybe we'll choose to do one then. But probably not. Well, we'd probably have to wipe a few islands, because yeah. otherwise we wouldn't have a place for it. Mm -hmm. exactly. So a question that came up in chat is, will we be able to claim cave entrances? No. no. That's actually the reason for the, the, that's one of the reasons for doing the claim wipe, right? We didn't want it to be basically a, a Russian roulette or a, a lottery of who got a cave entrance in their claim. That's totally that not true. I wanted it to be a Russian I want a <laughs> Russian roulette of cave entrances right now. <laughs> so, so what I proposed was, if your claim was on a cave entrance, it just got killed. Yeah. <laughs> but nicer minds were prevailed. Yeah, that's it. So this way, at least, it's, it's, it's across the board, and everybody knows what to expect. Right. And, you know, it's not, oh, I got, I, my claim was in a bad spot, so mine's gone, but Dave, yours was, you know, just on the other side of my claim, and you're totally fine because yeah. it didn't happen to be a cave. But, but the good news is, because we're doing oceans, and then we're doing caves really closely behind that, um, that, what that means is that since we have to do a wipe, what it lets you do is reorient and figure out a new claim, because you're going to have all this seaside property, yep. and then the caves are going to be in there, and you've got the hub. All these things will add up into different strategy for how you want to, uh, where you want to put your claim anyway. So, eh, you were going to shuffle anyway. Right. Right? <laughs> a lot of people would. Yeah. So we thought it was an opportune time to make sure that, that we cleaned everything up and, and got everything back into just a, a fresh state. Right. So, so another, while we're on the topic of caves, mm -hmm. will caves be persistent and never changing or are they random? They're constantly changing. Okay. Oh, well, not the cavern entrance. Yeah, mm -hmm. not the cave the entrances. entrances. So there are entrances on, on the top that are always the same, but the, the actual cave system itself procedurally changes over time. It can, yes. Yes. We, mm. we will have earthquakes. <laughs> Shaking, rumbling. Rumbling. <laughs> um, and again, just to reiterate, because I know it has been asked a couple of times, when the caves go in, and there is the wipe, and Dave already said this, but we're saying it again, just in case you fell asleep for 10 minutes, Omid, and what? missed it when Dave said it, exactly. Um, it is just the claim that is wiped. Yep. You don't lose your stuff, you don't lose your templates, you don't nope. lose your character. It's just, just your spot in the world. Yep. And then you can go out and claim beachfront property or claim cave side property. Or, or claim the exact same spot you had, had before. and place down what you had if that's what you want to do, yep. assuming there's not a cave entrance there. Right. Yep. And, and uh, going back to one of the other questions, the cave entrance will behave uh, much like the hub does. There'll be an area around it where you can't place a climb. It has its own buffer. Yeah, it has a buffer around it so that you can't claim that cave entrance. Right. Yeah. Because that would be, sorry, the evil part of my brain that I don't let come out very often was just like, oh, because then I could build a giant wall around it and be like, haha, my claim, you can't, or my, my cave, you can't, can't have, have it, anything. yeah. <laughs> Except, of course, they could tunnel through to get it and come visit from underneath. Pulverizers but are going to be a lot nice. more interesting. Yeah. For those yeah. of you who didn't think it was worthwhile to upgrade your pulverizer to legendary, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you may change is. your mind. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yep. The, speaking of the pulverizer, this is a little bit of a tangent, but some of you have seen this thread, and if you haven't, you should go look at it. Um, on the forums right now, there's a thread going called You Know You've Played Too Much Landmark Win, Love which clearly there is no such thing as playing too much landmark, so the title is a bit misleading. But one of the things that actually happened to me, and I put this in the thread, is uh, I was at a home improvement store, and someone was looking for a tiller for their yard. My first thought as I walked by and went, dude, a pulverizer would be so much easier. And like kept walking and then went, wait. <laughs> That's not a thing. You can't actually till your yard with the pulverizer. So That's I probably a mistake. I think awesome. we should go in and change the name of that thread to so you so you, how you know you've played a lot of landmark. Of landmark. Right. Not too right. much, just a lot. Just yes. a lot. Yeah. And I, I, when, when Colette was telling me about this, uh, the thread, I, I mentioned what Dave was doing. And I know you mentioned it on one of the... Oh, I know. I'm sure you guys were annoyed with me in London. <laughs> that London was the one. And we were walking around London and Dave's like, I could build that. How would I do that interior curve? Well, there was you know? that one. There was a. There was a. Ah, there was a building that a set of louvered windows and the and the the side pieces that were holding the louvers 
were micro voxels. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. It was, it was. It even looked like it had the flange. It was yep. perfect. Yep. <laughs> anyway, and, uh, I can't remember whose forum handle it was, but to the guy who wouldn't let his kid do his homework because you were playing Landmark on one machine and watching the live stream on the other, and made your kid go use your wife's computer instead, we salute you, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> Excellent parenting. Bravo. I was really impressed by that. Um, it's pretty funny. Anyway. <laughs> I hadn't heard that. Yes. <laughs> that, was, that was a new one that I saw. Um, uh, oh, speaking of, since you mentioned upgrading to Legendary, a, a couple people have asked um, that there's seen a recent increase in gem costs. For some recipes. For some recipes, and wanting to know, was that intentional? Was that a, a shift we made? Or they weren't sure if it was well, yes, new it, or bug? It, well, it's not a bug. It's not a bug. Right. It, it's we're changing that stuff all the time. Yeah. We're, we're, what we're trying to do is, you know, it, it, it is beta. You know, we're going through, we're balancing. You know, the designers are going through and looking at how long it takes to get to certain things, how long it takes to get the resources to craft different recipes, and they're constantly tuning those so that the numbers are coming in line with, with what they want to see for the game and what players are, with the feedback from players and, and everybody else's experience in the game, they're trying to make sure that it's, it's fun and interesting and, and you actually have successes. Like, you know, being able to make everything two minutes into the game isn't a lot of fun right. because you don't have that sense of, hey, I actually accomplished something in the game, something worthwhile that means something. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes, sometimes there are larger costs than, you know, on the surface you're like, hey, I wish it was half of that. But they're being done for particular reasons and we're continually evaluating and balancing that. Yeah. There's a lot of clock watching going on as we develop yes. the game. Yes. It's like how long does it take? Not not how many resources do you need, not how, how complicated is the you know, like which crafting table. It's like how long does it take? Yeah, and I mean I, I've seen uh, just in the past couple of weeks, I've seen a dozen emails uh, from the designers where they go through their play tests and they're like, uh, you know, starting from scratch, it, it took me 12 minutes to do this and 17 minutes to do this and and then after that it was six minutes to get to this and that and everything and they're you know they're going out and they're analyzing all of this data it's so useful and, and I know some players are also sending that information mm -hmm. in uh, via the forms and everything and it's 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 invaluable for making sure that we don't overlook something that that is the right change to make right. oh and and just in case because I like I mentioned it briefly on the on the on the uh, blueprint that we were gonna work on the tools still mm -hmm. but yeah we're not super happy with where the tools are right now. They're very, very powerful, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they're not where we want them. So you can expect changes going that way too. And one of the changes that's actually going to be coming up probably this week to help us start to sort that a little bit more is, as many of you know, when we entered closed beta, we restructured the forums a little bit and we said, hang with us, and you did through March and all of April, um, and let us see how this current structure works. And one of the things that we noticed is there are a couple sub forums that we do want to break out for more specific topics. So by the end of this week, you're going to see a sub forum for claims and building. So things like the tools specifically, mm -hmm. things with templates, any of that, you can start putting in that section. Cool. And then we're going to have one for harvesting, um, that like harvesting and gathering those sorts of things out in the world, crafting, harvesting and crafting. So anything about upgrading or crafting 2.0, there'll be a separate section for that so that it's not all lumped together in general right. gameplay. So both of those will be coming. The prefixes will still be there, so you'll be able to use those and to sort wherever you're posting. But I know people have asked about those and that's gonna help us get that feedback sorted out a little bit more. So watch for those to be coming to the forum sometime this week. Yeah, cool. and the, the, forums are, the forums work just like everything else we're doing, right? It's an mm -hmm. iterative process. Yes. You know, making a game, uh, you know, doing all the things we're doing, that's the way it works. You know, we, we put something out there, our first thoughts, then we get feedback from everybody yep. involved, and then we adapt it to what makes sense. So we, we appreciate all the extra help uh, in all the areas of what we're doing. Yeah, so. the, the f uh, prefix list even, um, initially we've added a few over time that mm -hmm. people have started to say, you know, a lot of people are tagging suggestion, wasn't on our original list, and then so many people were using it just as, oh, I can't pick it from the dropdown, I'll put it in the title, so we just added it. So now you can pick it from the dropdown and then you can sort by it as well. So again, all of that feedback is really helpful. The whole thing is a is a closed beta process yes. right now. Um, we talked about it before, totally. even the live streams. Like, if there's stuff you want to see us doing or talking about in future episodes, tell us that too. Those are things we we'd like to hear your feedback on. So I get so used to in like um, the published games that we have, the live mm -hmm. games. Mm -hmm. You get used to players. Um, getting used to a game and then loving it that way. Right. And any kind of change uh, creates negativity in mm -hmm. a lot of those communities. 
It's been absolutely fantastic working on this game because every single one of you out there wants the game to grow. Yeah. <laughs> and so when we do stuff, I have this tendency to want to say, well, I'm sorry we changed that for you, but you guys are really excited about the fact that the game is growing around you. Mm -hmm. And, well, that's really cool from our point of view. Yeah. It's, it's just really fun. I would love it if this community never gets to the point where it feels like the game should stay a certain way. Yeah, because it never will. Yeah. It always just keeps changing, keeps growing, and that like flexibility and sort of brainstorming collaboratively thing that we're doing now just keeps going, you know, for five, ten years. Yeah. It'd be so cool. Absolutely. I'm 20. I was 20. like, 10? You don't, 10? You don't think on, big I enough. Mean. No, no, after 10 years, I'm fine if everyone gets set in their ways and like, it should be this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Get off my lawn. <laughs> fair enough. In 2024, you yeah. can start posting that it should be this <laughs> that way. That it shouldn't that change like anymore. Yes. So let's set it. That's true. 2024. 2024. Just wait. Yeah. Make sure to keep this video clip that entire time so that you can show it back to us. Then. Yeah, remind us of that. I was going to say, well, that sounds like somebody else's problem, but awesome. That, that would be awesome if that was my problem. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I've been here 11 years. 10 more is totally fine by yeah. me. Yep. Yeah. Um, so one of the things uh, we do, speaking of the game changing around us, Tomorrow's update, um, we showed off some of the props that are coming in. We know that the submission tool to begin the competition is going in. Do we have a couple other things that yes. um, are going that we may want to mention? Um, I was taking a look at what is going to be going in as well. Um, and I was trying to make sure that we covered everything. Um, and there's one that we were going to be adding that uh, we were checking the status of today from web. Is that going in? So we can talk about the teleport. Oh yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, okay. it's going in. Yeah, well, so let's see. I have a high degree confidence in the <laughs> wonderful people that work with our website. Um, but what we're doing is, uh, when you go to the gallery and you're checking out other people's claims, what you can do then is you can say, you know what? Hey, I'd like to go see that, and push a button, which will be right there, and you'll be able to use a portal shard out of your inventory to go straight to that claim. Right, and it'll have a 30 minute cooldown, yep. uh, so that. You By the can way, we're changing the 30 minute. Uh, they're going from 60 to 30 for all of the teleports. Right. But that way, so when you're going through and you're, you're browsing through looking for things, which is why we were saying that um, it would probably be worthwhile to leave things on your claim. This mm -hmm. is one of the reasons, right? If you put it up in there, then people can actually just click on it, teleport to your claim. And well, see. not from the contest. Not from the contest, yeah. but from the, the, the gallery. Yeah, if you go into the gallery, because yeah. the, the, the reason why you can't do it from the contest is because contest submissions are templates. Yeah. And you can't teleport to a template because it may or may not be there. Right. Um, claims are the only thing that we can guarantee you being able to port to, so that's why that's only available in the gallery. Right. And not from the website, obviously, because you're not playing the game when you're on the website. I want to <laughs> teleport from the website. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we, oh, have, of we have created new technology outside of the game. <laughs> you can teleport from a website. First, then <laughs> <in> landmark. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then the other big one that we have going in is claim feedback. Yeah, right, which the, is going to be really cool. Yeah, the ability to go onto somebody's claim and you know provide feedback to them so that they can get your comments, thoughts, things like that. You know, it's going to be using the in-game mail system. Yep. Uh, so it's one of those things that you'll be able to go in and and if you see somebody who does something amazing, or you know, I've I've had people come by my claim. Um, they don't know who I am, uh, which is always funny to hear people talk about the game. And I know Dave's talked about that a little bit when when I'm playing on my non. Uh, developer account. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I've had people come by and give me suggestions on like how to fix a part of the building that I oh, was working cool. on. You know, and so this will be another way. If you see something that, hey, this would look really great there, you know, it's not just a, hey, I like your stuff. It's also a, a way to share tips and tricks and things like that. It's well, an awesome to way questions. to recruit a co-op build out. Yeah. It is. It is. I love what you've done, and I want to do this big thing. You want to come help? Yeah. yeah. Kind of thing and like that? It, it is potentially a way, like, if you see something and you're like, it's amazing. How did you do that? Like, right. you know, start those conversations. So, again, anything I, that builds the community up in the world is, is things that we are obviously in favor of, and this is... Another one of those features. Tips will be soon. Yes. Not soon. quite yet. Yeah. And then we, we had a couple of other things that we were hoping to get in for this week's update that it just doesn't look like they're <sighs> going to quite make it. It's killing me that one of them didn't. I know. It's we, 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 were, we were so close to something that everybody wants. It'll be there next week. It'll be there next week instead. So um, it just it, it didn't quite make it in today. Um, there's, a, there's a bug that... Uh, that was just a little gnarlier than we thought it was going yeah, to be. And it's it's nobody's fault. It no. was just it was just we pushed really hard and didn't quite make it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Ken's been a fantastic doing a fantastic job yeah. on mm -hmm. the way that's going, and we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, it's a, but next week we'll have something big going in, so it'll be it'll be fun. And uh, come back to the live stream next week, and we'll show it off. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. I'm sure we'll leak it somewhere during next week. Yeah, probably. That that tends to happen. Um, <laughs> Omid talks. I'm gonna, Omid I'm gonna leak it right now. <laughs> <laughs> How about no? Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, uh, Omid, any uh, anything? Have you been paying attention? Have you been <laughs> listening to what's <laughs> to, to what? Do we have any other questions? We oh, have a. We're, oh, we're right at the hour mark, but we can answer a few questions. Thousands of questions. Okay. The first one is. What is feather in a bottle? Oh, oh, feather in a well. It's yeah. when it's it's so a uh, feather is something that you take from a bird, right? <laughs> and a bottle. And a bottle. Oh wait, a <laughs> wait if what? I had a feather <laughs> in a bottle. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's, yeah, go ahead. Then. Yeah, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. Um, the feather in a bottle is the new uh, monthly giveaway that uh, we're giving away yep. through the Twitch streams and whatever else. So me and his wonderful crew of wacky people come up with a ways to to get it out there. Um, but the uh, uh, feather in a bottle is an inventory item, and when you equip it, you can double jump. Yep, it's it's one of those things that we talked about with heroic movement, uh, where you can find an item in the world, and or not in the world in this case, but you can get an item that when you equip it, it opens up ways to move around the world. And just in case people aren't double jump gamers, you basically jump, and then while you're in the air, you hit you the space again. bar again, and you jump a little higher. Right, um, and that lets you. Uh, get to places you normally can't do. Right. What I haven't figured out yet, and I keep forgetting to ask this question, is dangerous to do this on the air. Can you use it at the same time as a lunar anchor? I know the answer to this. Oh, I know the answer. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. The answer is yes, sort of. So the lunar anklet. I thought he was disappointed that he knew the answer. I know. Oh, terrible. Uh, <laughs> no, I know the answer because I, I asked uh, Mr. Smith yesterday, uh, uh, and so the way the way that it works, and this guy always has bad news. Like, has he ever <laughs> given anyone good news in yes. his whole life? Yes. Uh, okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you can have them both equipped. And the lunar anklet will help your first jump go yes. really high, but it doesn't help your second jump. So you jump. go, boing, boop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. All right, it's still cool. It's you can still, still cool. go a lot higher well, than you could have. Good, right? Now you can go that little extra higher than somebody with a lunar anklet, and you go, neener, neener. Yep. Yes. <laughs> and remember, one of the things that we talked about with the lunar anklets, as well as feather in a bottle, is we wanted these to be things that could last. Yeah. Um, we had the prime grappler before, which was cool, but that was a, a not broken. great thing to keep live, so we yeah. wiped it after alpha. It was lunar awesome. Anklets. <laughs> 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 Lunar anklets and feather in a bottle are going to stay. They they will they will stay with you uh, if you hang and on to one of those. Yes, okay. and just like the lunar anklet, they're tradable. Mm -hmm. uh, so these can become valuable over time. Mm -hmm. You know, some people. You know, we're only going to be giving them away for a month, uh, which means that not everybody's going to get one. So you actually have something that not everybody else can get. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, and yeah. the same. So that goes for the lunar anklets. We're going to stop giving them out. Yep. Yeah. Now there is, I believe, one more way we're going to give them out. Yes. Uh, and that's the only way, and we'll tell you about that later. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a very, very small amount of them that that are going to go out that way. Right. And that's just because we had to plan that before we had feathers in a bottle to give yeah. out. Right. Uh, so we're going to start giving out the feathers in a bottle. These are things that are coming in very, very limited quantities, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have the number right offhand, but, but it's, it's only a few thousand. Well, I have a, I have a question based on what you just said, Amid, because you know it's it's important. Okay. Is it feathers in a bottle? <laughs> Yes. Or it, it, is yeah. it feather in a it's bottles? They are feathers in bottles, <laughs> I believe. Feather because, bottle. Because you're not getting multiple feathers and putting them in a single bottle. Right. Nor are you having one feather and a lot of bottles. I know. So you're having really feathers in bottles. Oh, it's, oh, it's yeah. multiple. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. It, uh, the, the crazy things that go through my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Welcome to what it's like to work at SOE. This happens in meetings. This happens in the hallway. Hey, these are important. These are important questions. It is. Yeah. No, it is. Okay, no, they're it not. Is, yeah. <laughs> I agree with Dave. They're, they're making not. a hashtag out of Neener Neener. <laughs> Neener Neener 2024. <laughs> 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 <That's nice. laughs> Amazing. Uh, Get that see. trending now. So some other questions, one that I can answer real quick. When will Landmark t-shirts be available? And the answer is next month, I believe, we oh, will cool. have a Landmark t-shirt. I want a Landmark uh, t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And we'll have more details on that as soon as I'm sure. But it'll either be next month or June. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, yeah, and for those of you who maybe don't know, missed one of the streams that we did earlier in March, we do have a store now with Jinx. There is currently one t-shirt. It's the classic EverQuest t-shirt. It's gray with a gold logo. It is awesome. Uh, everybody who was on the show that day except for Omid got one. 
that may have been deliberate. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but that's where it's going to be expanding. So there's going to be things for, for other brands as well. So make sure you keep an eye on that. We're really excited about things that are coming. Yeah, it'll be cool. We, we had a, I remember the meeting with the Jinx guys. It was a lot of fun. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we're really excited. Yeah. Did you want more questions? Sure, yeah, sure. We can take a couple uh, more. Are extra bag slots that are for sale going to be craftable? Except that question. We don't want that question. Okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Live TV. I can actually answer the question ahead, if yeah. we want to about that um, because I, I had a I wanted to make sure I understood it uh, the right before I left, so I got the details of what's going on right now. And this is subject to change. Our intention is once we have merchants and coin in the game, is that you can purchase with the in-game coin. Uh, uh, bag upgrades or you know slot increases in your inventories. Uh, every time you purchase with the in-game coins, it's going to increase the cost of the next one. Uh, that's the in that's the intention of what we have. So there will reach a point where you'll make the decision of do you want to spend your in-game coin or is it better to spend a little bit of uh, of SC in order to be able to get it. So you absolutely will be able to get them in-game uh, through the not through crafting but through mechanisms of playing the game and and get access to them that way. Good yeah. answer. Yep. It doesn't sound like you made that up at all. I didn't make that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny because everybody says that. They're like, did you make that up? I'm like, yeah. I don't ever I, make I, up I an did, answer. Yeah, <laughs> it up. It's fine. <laughs> Let's see. Next question. Uh, some people lost stuff during the last hotfix. Are they going to get it back? Nuh-uh. Nuh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't lose Hashtag anything. Nuh -uh. <laughs> they, they only appear to have lost it. <laughs> yes, it's actually well preserved in the database, and they should be getting all of it back we're, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we we I'm believe doing. that's the case from yeah. from the investigations we were able to do that 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 data was not lost, mm -hmm. though it was disassociated for a brief period of time, so you didn't have it. It was limboized. Yes. <laughs> so the the our belief is that with the update that we're going to be putting out tomorrow, that you will be getting those things back. Um, if you don't. Please let us know, and we can investigate to see yeah. if there was a different problem than the one that we did discover that and was causing. And just to head off a whole slew of uh, interesting posts, um, we're talking about the chest stuff. Yes. Yeah, so if you had items that were missing in the chest, that's what we're fixing tomorrow. Right. Every other issue that you may or may not have is still a valid issue, but is not the fix that we're talking about. Yes. Right. Good call there. <laughs> Clarification, good. Just so you know. <laughs> and limboized is an official dev word. Please yeah. feel free to use that on the forums, whatever. Uh, are we going to get some way to claim. find people's claims when we see them in the gallery? Yes. How, you, how'd you that mean, work? You mean other <laughs> than the teleport that we talked about? No. So we have the teleport. <laughs> which so we talked about that one. Look, I'm just reading the questions that people are asking. Okay. People want to know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, first of all, you'll be able to teleport. And then later on, we have a whole bunch of map improvements that will help you be able to find things really, really easily in the world. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to wait to talk about those map improvements till a little bit later on down yeah. the line. But... The very basic summary when of we the first, the blueprint. Yeah, when we first put together the idea of Landmark, the very first time we sat down and talked about it, there were only four things we talked about. Mm -hmm. And one of those four things was the map yep. and how critical it is to this game. And right now, it's really, really, really underdeveloped. Right. We have big plans for it. Yep. We'll see. Okay, yeah. and then the last question that I have is more of a, it's more of a philosophical question, so I kind of wanted to end with this one. 42. Which is... Uh, <laughs> Still no. Have you ever considered having backpacks or limiting the amount of resources that a player can carry? Well, yes. I mean, that was that, that was actually, we had that in initially in Alpha. Uh, we increased the amount of things that people could carry because uh, we thought they were a little too restricted. But the idea is is that uh, there is a limit to how much you can carry on yourself at any it's given time. It's a lot, right but now. it's a limit. Yeah, but it, it is a limit. a limit. And the idea is, is that that's why you want to have things like chests and on your claims and vaults. Uh, because you can put things in them because you're out of space on your on your character. You know, we don't want you going around without ever visiting anything, you know, just collecting things infinitely, right? That It doesn't make for a fun game, you know. It, I don't know about you guys, but I carry my vault in my inventory all the time. When I need something, bloop, <laughs> pull it out of the vault, <laughs> put it back in my bag. Portable yep. hole. All the time, it's a portable <laughs> hole. That's right, it's your little bag of holding. Yep. So... But yes, I mean, we already have limits in there on, on what you can and can't carry at a given time. Mm -hmm. And, and m much like I mentioned before, we're balancing that over time. We'll figure out a as we move through uh, closed beta what makes the most sense for those numbers to be. They may come down a little bit. They may go up a little bit, depending on the thing. Uh, and, and we'll be balancing that over time. Awesome. And so, folks, there's a lot of questions being asked right now. 
And so if you didn't get your question answered right here, tweet it at uh, Landmark the Game, Landmark Game. Landmark Game. At Landmark Game on Twitter. Uh, and also use the hashtag Landmark Live. Uh, collect collects those questions throughout the week mm -hmm. and then compiles them together. And then we can give even better answers than the yep. stuff that's on the fly, yep. right? Yep. So definitely just go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. It makes it a lot easier for yes. us because then we get these little sheets of paper with all the questions on them. <laughs> <laughs> so that I can do my nightly newscast thing. Yes. Do our homework. Yes. And that tonight on the nightly news. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us again this and week. Thanks to uh, Rosie wars. for coming by at the <laughs> beginning of the show, talking to us a little bit about art and props. Again, make sure you watch for those new threads to be coming up on the forums for yep. the prop suggestions. And don't forget, we do have a patch tomorrow morning. Current estimate? Are we uh, still I, on? Yeah. Well, right now, from from okay. the last thing I saw, we're still on for ten o'clock tomorrow, which okay. is when we're intending on doing it. Uh, if that changes this evening, if for some reason that that has changed, we will make sure to let everybody know as soon as we know that it has to move. Um, and the goal is always no Friday update. Yes. <laughs> we almost managed it one week. Yeah, we've done it before. Yeah. It'd be nice for that to happen again. Yes, yeah. I agree. Um, and again, we will be putting the rest of the, the full video that we showed you in the middle of the stream today up on Watch our it. YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out. Hey. Um, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> well done. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we'll be back next week with another episode. We'll oh wait, well, one more thing. Oh. Uh, so there's a new. But wait, there's more. Yeah, there we. I think it was just yesterday or the day before. Uh, I found a new landmark streamer that I really like, uh, <laughs> and he's streaming right now. And I haven't told Hand him off. that we're coming. Actually, I did tell him we're coming. Uh, but I'm gonna paste it in the chat. So after we're done here, uh, let's all go say hi to Mr. Dizzy Disaster, and I'll paste it in the chat. Blitzkrieg. All right. Great name. Fun. So we will see you guys next week. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.